Hi and welcome to the seventh ARCHICAD video tutorial for beginners. In this video I want to talk about how you can trace in ARCHICAD something from one story to a different story. So what I'm gonna do is actually modify this rectangle a little bit in order to be able to have something a bit more interesting to trace on the next level. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this wall and you notice that all of the walls got selected. This, if the same thing happened to you, it means that your groups are not suspended. So if you want to edit this rectangle, we can't do much to it except move it. But I would like to add another node here and have a part of it um, translated to the side. So what I'm going to do is press escape once. And now I am going to suspend the groups. As you can see now when I click over here, I have a bit more options in my path palette. So I'm going to leave this one that's activated, which is insert new node. I'm going to insert it over here. And then I'm going to click on this part over here. And from the path palette, I'm going to select this offset edge option. So I'm going to bring everything to the side and I'm going to hit 4 meters. Now that we have our little L-shaped building here, I'm going to go to the first story and I would like to trace that same exact shape on this story, but you can see now that we cannot see anything what's underneath. So in order to be able to see, you're going to activate this trace and reference option from ARCHICAD. And now you can see everything that's underneath. In order to change what you can actually see, all you have to do is press on this little arrow, choose reference, and now it's set to always see what's below your current story. For now I'm gonna leave it like that, and I'm actually gonna go back to ground floor. I'm gonna press Alt on my keyboard, and you can see this eyedropper tool appeared. I'm gonna click and now I copied the properties of this wall and I'm gonna go to the first story and I can actually just start tracing this shape if I'm gonna click over here you'll see that they are not overlapping correctly that is because the reference line of this wall is actually between the two um, skins so I'm gonna hit escape and I'm actually going to start over here and now you can see that they are overlapping correctly. So now I can just go. And now you can see that I traced the exact wall from underneath on the first story. I'm gonna actually do another wall in this direction, but I want it to be oriented the same way as this one over here. So what I'm going to do is flip the reference line by clicking over here. You can see now that the core is on this side and the insulation on the lower side. So I can do a wall across. I'm going to go underneath, but now you see that I cannot see what's up. So let's say that maybe over here I want to trace the exact same wall as on the first story. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and press on this little arrow. I'm gonna say choose reference and I'm gonna you could either say above current story and then you're gonna see what's on the first floor or you can select and, I, and this is the one I always have selected when I work in ARCHICAD and this is previous story. So now you will always see the reference of the previous story. Now you can see here what's on the ground floor because that is the story we were on previously. And when I click on the ground floor, I'm going to see the first story because that's where we were previously. Again, if I go to the second story, which is an empty story, I can see the story that I was on before, which was the ground floor. So that is basically how trace and reference works. What you can do, click here on this arrow and click on trace and reference and this little window that is dedicated to trace and reference appears and all of these options will be here for you.
Okay, so that was all for this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!